You've heard about autonomous vehicles hitting the roads here in Michigan, but did you know that autonomous vehicle testing in Warren could soon change the way America fights wars? 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live in the newsroom. So Matt, you know, this is really a new look at high tech warfare. Yeah, and you know, when we think about autonomous vehicles, like you said, I mean, you see stuff like this. You think about the vehicles. Uh, when you're talking about the military, you're talking about explosions and guns, sure, but the reality is the work that's going on in Warren, it's not stuff on the screen like you're seeing here. In fact, it's actually a lot of computers and cubicles where they're getting all the jobs done. You're on board the equivalent of an RC car. Controller in hand, Tardic workers mapping the track. Around this table, robotics geniuses, even some folks from MIT. It eventually leads to some real high-tech stuff. Nope, this tank doesn't have a driver. Techs are doing practice runs here at Camp Grayling. Perhaps one day, that means one less soldier in the line of fire. We operate off-road, um, so Google doesn't have it mapped. We don't have all that information. As Scott Heim explains, the military has added challenges. In the past, they've used what's called leader follower programs. Last year, one live driver piloted several autonomous trucks back and forth across the Blue Water Bridge. That could play a huge role in transporting food, ammo, and other goods. The next step? To drop the drivers all together and hopefully one day reduce the risk of live fire action. Uh, moving into the combat world where you have a manned uh, tank or uh, armored personnel carrier uh, in uh, controlling multiple other vehicles, doing more reconnaissance or, or breaching or, or some of those other uh, things that are more risky. The Army has looked at drones attached to tanks. When they get an up-close look, there's nothing special. In fact, these are old vehicles with new tech. Sensors, computers, making what's old new. But in the future, vehicles may roll off the lines prepped with this type of mission in mind. Thanks to the work going on quietly in Warren, Michigan, what looks like lab work now could one day save lives. The lab work, the computer, all that tech is constantly happening behind the scenes. The next time they'll have a big situation where they're rolling this out on Michigan roads so you can do some more testing, that'll actually be coming up in October of this year. Hey, we're live inside the newsroom this morning. Matthew Smith. 7 Action News. All right. Well, it's something to think about yeah. that we're kind of getting toward that age. Yeah, a different side of autonomous yeah. vehicles. Thanks a lot, Matt. Appreciate it.